Someone forgot a baked potato in the embers. Must be my lucky day. Ouch! That cursed tuber is still glowing hot. I'll have to cool it down somehow. machine that does nothing. No wonder it landed in the garbage. Hey, that could fit, but which way around? Ah, whatever. I'm sure it doesn't matter. Chill back mode! Just lean back and enjoy the cool atmosphere. Hey, got it on the first try. I'm obviously on a winning streak. Uh, thanks, man. That was real necessary. Unbelievable. The lengths you have to go to in this restaurant to get a glass of water. <laughs> Professor Rufus presents the Miracle of Heat Exchange. Sweet. This thing. What's that? A tinfoil hat. It'll help you remember. Then leave it where it is. I drink to forget. I don't want you to remember the past, just the future. Ah, sounds like a change of strategy. As I have absolutely no future anyhow, it can't get any worse. That's the spirit. But if it's all the same to you, I'll use my own. Sure, of course. I would too if I... Whoa, 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 wait a minute! What? You had a tinfoil hat with you the whole time? Must have been a flash of divine inspiration. I do so love nibbling the wrap off Matt's list bottles. I did, however, line it with straw in order to... I get it. You had a tinfoil hat. All that work for nothing. How incredibly hilarious. You see me wiping tears of laughter from my crow's feet. Can we finally move along here? Be my guest. But... with what? Now, I don't want to bore you with details. Just remember this one thing. If history repeats itself, try to stop that pink elephant somehow. Yeah, okay. Why not? 
It's the least I can do. I think so too. Hey, Mac, do you have a minute? Given the context, would you like to rephrase that question? I'll take that as a yes. How does the memory thing work again? I am wearing a tinfoil hat stuffed with straw. How you do it is beyond me. The ways of Rufus are unfathomable. I need to get rid of that pink elephant right away. Perhaps you should visit a doctor. No, I can't expect any help from Dr. Gizmo. I'm banned from his clinic because I sometimes snack on expired drugs from his trash can. Uh, ah. Do we want to turn back time again? I don't know. It seems less and less like a good idea to me. Are you sure you're well prepared this time? You realize everything that you've done since the accident will be reversed. Whatever. I can do it over again if need be. The main thing is that the glasses remain intact. Well, yes, but perhaps with a bit more preparation, one could... Too late! Nina, Nina, let me through! I'm a prophet! <laughs> huh? Here we go again. Rufus? Are you there? Where else? Shall we have another go? <laughs> I can hardly wait. Come on. 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 Turn now. A little more to the right. Careful, a sweet wombat. Go back a little. Dodge the vultures. Forward a bit. And stop. Perfect. Are you sure that I can leave it here? 100%. Whew. Then the timeline is probably intact again. That means... What is that? I'm receiving strange values. Values? What are you talking about? No idea. I... Rufus! Quack! It's here! Hurry! Tuck! What happened? The pink elephant. It was here. I wrestled with it. For a short while, I felt I was winning, but then it disappeared into the ground. If anything's disappearing around here, it's your grip on reality. But you saw it too. I'm not so sure anymore. Maybe it was all just my imagination. Well, your imagination has a really hard left hook. I know. But enough of that. The glasses are safe and sound. Everything else is secondary. I'll go get Tony, and then we're out of here. I fear things will turn out different. I sure hope so. He's coming! Everyone in position! And then, just as we practice, I don't want to see any naked flames near Rufus. May Tephanus be with us. My prophetic dreams can oracle away all they want. I will never, ever grow a mustache. Hello, stranger. New in town? But Rufus, I attend the Barbecue Thursday Festival every year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. And your name is? Zoon, current grill champion from Sierra Benzoli. Sierra Benzoli? Well, I always thought that place only had three inhabitants. Which doesn't mean that the title wasn't hotly contested. Fuego and Petro are also very skilled in handling methylated spirits. Shame that they weren't able to compete this year. Let me guess, an accident at work? Let's just say they should have made the shish kebabs with much more shish and a lot less kebab.
Do you know how to catch an elephant? Of course. Why do you think I've got an elephant gun back there? I thought it was to show off. Uh, that too. But elephant hunting is a great tradition for us. It goes back to the days when Hannigal and Hunnigus both got the idea of riding over the Amalgalps. I thought they were only looking for fillings for tusks. Which probably didn't make the meeting of their armies any less bloody. <laughs> As you probably know, there's nothing more dangerous than an elephant with a toothache. There's an elephant in the area. Ah, I'll only believe that when I see it. Well, he's very good at hiding. Not exactly typical for an elephant. You sure that you don't mean a wombat or a groundhog? Yeah, I think I would know the difference. Quite a few people think that, and you end up having to collect them from the circus with wombat bites. Oh, poor Uncle Diego. There really is an elephant here. You'd better let a professional be the judge of that. I am a professional. Perhaps in claiming to be something that you're not, but certainly not in elephant hunting. Or do you happen to have a hunting license? Dab! Only beginners need a stupid license. Exactly, because the professionals already have one. Can I borrow your elephant gun? No, I only loan it out to other big game hunters. I happen to be a big game hunter. <laughs> If you were a big game hunter, then you would know that elephants are child's play. Much too easy to hit. Professionals hunt small animals. Ducks! Or rats. A gun like this won't do for them. You need something like a high-precision blowpipe for that. Much more precise. Unfortunately, I'm clean out of darts. And blowpipes. And bees for the nerve poison. Oh, come on, please. Lend me the elephant gun. I said no. I only loan it out to other big game hunters. Can you build me a high precision blowpipe? Depends. Are you a licensed big game hunter yet? Uh, yes. Then show me your license or take a hike. Oh, please. I need that high precision blowpipe really urgently. Then show me your license or take a hike. So, what's tasty today? What do you think? Barbecue Thursday is Groundhog Day. Wasn't Rampage Monday always Groundhog Day? No, Barbecue Thursday, I'm quite sure. Huh, well, I'll pass, just the same. I'm just not big on leftover plot ID, uh, Groundhog. What's all this nonsense with the lights and the barbecues? It's what they call Barbecue Thursday. I'm talking about you guys always turning off both whenever I get close. Oh! That's perfectly normal. Fire prevention measures. Don't worry about it. I wasn't planning on it. Well then, bye barbecue. Yeah, whatever. If he would just play with more feeling and less saliva, he could maybe relax during the breaks. What's going on? Why aren't you playing? We haven't learned that song up by heart yet. And without light, we can't see the music. Then why not play something you know by heart? Hmm. I think I can come up with something. Our hit, Rudy's Dental Work Went Wrong. <laughs> oh, please don't. I've already had to put up with that howling long enough. Still, much better than having to gaze at your mug all day. Hey, do you think that I suffer from ear potatoes? Hey, Rufus, wait a minute. Not now, Wenzel. I have more important things to do than to listen to your squeaking. You're still a jack-o'-lantern, just the same. <laughs>